Hello everybody, Rosemary here from the Lavinia Stamps Design Team. I hope you're all keeping well. I'd just like to take this opportunity of wishing you all a very happy 2023. My first card for 2023 or my first tutorial for 2023, I'd like to share with you this card. I thought it would be a nice card for Valentine's Day. So to start with, I've placed my um, heart sticker stencil on top of a 14 centimetre square piece of card and I've edged it in blue. I hope you can vaguely see that. So I've placed my sticker stencil on top and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ink up the aperture. So I'll take the mask off and I'm going to ink up the aperture and I'm going to be using my blue brush and I'm also going to be using salvaged patina. There will be a picture on my Facebook page of all the items that you'll need to make this card first thing I've got to do is put my moon mask down. I want to have a moon in the background or a sun if you want to make it yellow. And I'm just going to hold that in place and I'm just going to gently brush across just the top area of my heart. To get a nice pale blue sky, I don't really want it too dark. And there we go. That's first part done. Then I'm going to move on to my yellow brush. And because I used green for the grounded area, I just thought I'd go right across the whole heart shape with my yellow because it'll add some extra colour to my grass area. And that's my grass area done. It's a quite a quick card really. Now for my grass area I'm going to use one of the landscape mar uh, masks so I'm going to place that down there I'm doing this so it looks like Tia will be sitting on the um, ground and then I'm just going to ink up this area in green starting off quite dark and then getting paler as we go on I'm also going to move it so it looks like it's a little bit hilly in the background. And then I'll just move it over so oh, I can move it that way to get a little bit more movement going with my last layer and there we go so that's our area done the next thing i'm going to the next thing i'm going to do is um I'm going to remove my mask, my circle mask, and then I'm going to remove my heart aperture. And you can see that it's a quite a nice landscape that's come out. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually stamp Tia. Whoops. So I'm going to stamp it here. I'm 
This is Tia. Lovely little stamp, this one. I also put my heart stamp in there so I knew where it was. So now I'm going to place Tia onto my heart design and I want to have her like she's sitting on the ground, grounded area. And part of her hand is coming off but her heart will fit in the moon that she's going to give her friend. And then I'm going to ink Tear up with Versafine Claire Nocturne. I love this. I love these Nocturne ink pads. I think they're very, very juicy. So I'm going to press down. When I'm stamping the fairies, I like to use a stamping platform because that way if the ink doesn't come out, you've got an extra chance to get it nice and dark and black. I'll just keep pressing all over. Let it sit for a few seconds. Oh, and I just think it needs another little press. So we'll ink her up again, mainly just in the middle, that area there. There we go, beautifully stamped. Don't remove your design at the moment because now you're going to do your heart. I'm going to place her heart in her hand. And then pick up the stamp. And this time I'm using Versafine Claire Glamorous. Just gently press onto my heart shape. Make sure I haven't got any around the edges. And gently press down. And there we go. I'm happy with that because I'm going to glitter it as well. So I think that's fine. Don't want to risk any smudges. We'll come back to our last bit of stamping in a little while, which is the words. We'll come back to them in a little while. So the next part of our work to do is to highlight our gold area. So I do this by hand, but you could put your mask around and go around it. I like to do it by hand. Sometimes it's a bit awkward if your shadow gets in the way. But just keep moving your card so that you can see the line that you wish to follow around. It takes a lot of practice to do this. in between I hope I'm staying in the center of the video I have a habit of forgetting I really want to do some more extra videos this year. I didn't do so many last year. But I really want to do a lot more this year. So that's my aim. I hope you do enjoy my videos. So I'm just going to follow around now. The fairy. Where I think the light comes in. Just 
highlighter in gold just to give that bit of extra sparkle. I don't think she is a fairy actually because she hasn't got any wings. But she's lovely nevertheless. So just slowly going around all the areas that you want to go around to highlight with glitter. These glitter pens are really lovely. They're also available from Lavinia Stamps, Jelly Roll pens. This one is gold. Oh, now I'm going to go around my moon. So I am going to, because it's a circle, I am going to go round it with the mask on. There we go. Now for my heart, I was going to add some glitter. I hope you can see that sparkling in the light. I really do hope you can see because it looks beautiful. I really was going to use glitter with um, a quickie glue pen, but then I decided to use my jelly roll pen in red. But I didn't use it in a normal way. I put some, scribbled some onto my mat. These silicone mats are really, really good. I do recommend them. And then I'm just going to add a little tiny piece of bit of water. And I'm going to paint the heart with the glitter pen. I just love adding glitter to my designs like this. And I hope you can. I, I really hope that the light is picking that up for you. The light has just picked up the fact that I've got a little blind spot there. So I'll add that in. And there we go. <laughs> Wet that up. Right, so really that's our card is nearly finished. Not far off finished. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my mask. Hopefully get it in the right place. And then... I'm just going to add another heart stencil. You could use any heart stencil you've got. I, you could cut one out with dies and use that. And then I'm going to place my feather leaf, my feather leaf stencil from Lavinia Stamps over the top. And with my salvage patina, the thing I like about this silicone mat as well is that it actually holds your ink pad in place. So I'm going to ink up my brush and then I'm just going to gently, just to give a bit of extra texture to my image. I'm gently going to go round. I don't want too dark. I'm happy with that side. Let's hold this side in place and do the same. I'm 
There we go. Now you could go around with a gold pen around your heart if you wanted to. Whichever heart you use and then just pick up your heart mask. And there we go. It just gives a little bit of added interest in the background. And the next thing and the final thing we have to do to actually finish off our card is to stamp our words. So once again, I'm going to get my stamping platform out. And I'm going to stamp up my words. I'm going to also stamp these in black as well. So I'm going to place them next to her heart. I hope I didn't stick my head in the video. Bring that down. In cup with Nocturne, Versifying Clair, and then just lightly press. Lightly press, and there we go. That's our card done. That's our topper done, I should say. And that's our topper done. Now we're going to mount our card up on a six by six inch card base. have here and I cut another piece 14 oh, 14 no this one's 14 this one is 14 and a half and I'm going to lay that on top like that and then the card base is six inches which is 15 centimeters square okay so I'm just going to glue it all together. I'm going to put my glue onto the base of this card. Or this piece of backing paper. Card, backing card, I should say. Backing paper is card. I've used Centura Pearl card today because I've been having my bathroom redone and I can't seem to find my multifarious card at the moment. So I don't know where I've put it. There's loads of bathroom stuff came into my craft room so that it didn't interfere with the bedrooms. It's looking lovely. It should be finished next week, so... I can get back to normal and then I'm going to place this one on top of that one so I hope that you like the card Now, sometimes I just like to place a piece of white card on top. I usually place my stamping platform over the top and just leave it there for maybe half hour or so just to let the ink, uh, just to let the glue dry. Okay, so once again, I'd just like to share with you I'll share with you my calendar page which was where I originally got the idea for my card from so that was my calendar page I'd just like to wish you all a very happy new year again and there will be a video there will be a list of ingredients needed for um, 
the card at the end of my video and I'll also place them on my Facebook page. Looking forward to seeing you sometime this year at some shows or something as we're all getting back to normal now. Thank you for watching. Bye.